My faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray. Take all my guilt away. Oh, let me from this day be wholly thine. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, reading from verse 23 to 27. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents, because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he came to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer the affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproaches of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seen him who is invisible. We continue this morning looking at this hero of the faith by the name of Moses, a great man of God, one that we can learn so much from, we said, that Moses made three major decisions and they all involve one, refusing, two, choosing, three, and leaving. Let's notice something about this man's decision. The first thing I want us to notice, and that's what we're gonna look at today, would be the time of Moses' decision of fate the time of Moses' decision of faith. As I look at the scripture, we are told Moses faced this great decision and made it when he was grown up. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 10 and 11, the Bible said, And the child grew, and she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son, and she called his name Moses, and she said, because I drew him out of the water. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens, and he spied an Egyptian, smitten an Hebrew, one of his brethren. At what age? one would say Moses was. I think I could honestly say that Moses was at least 40 at the time this is recorded of him, at the time when this happened. By faith, Moses made a tremendous decision which influenced his future life. He made a tremendous decision which influenced his future life. May I read it for you again? Verse 23 to 25. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's command. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Of course, you would know the story that the king at that time was destroying all the, the little children. Moses' mother and father, when he was born, took a basket, a little boat, and sealed it and carried it. Moses down by the riverside and placed him in there and hid him because they didn't want him to be killed. At the very same time, they were following the leading of the Lord. Then Moses' sister, who was Pharaoh's daughter, Mead, was close by the child and Pharaoh's daughter passed by and she heard the child crying and they sent Moses' sister, not knowing it was Moses' sister, to fetch uh, someone to take care of the child. And in the wisdom of that young lady, 
she got his mother and the mother took care of him for Pharaoh's daughter and Moses grew and became the grandson of Pharaoh and his house. Moses was was in the prime of his life. That's the time when the things of the world and the pleasures of life seems very attractive. Mm. The Bible says he was esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. We learn that Moses decided he chose rather to suffer the affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. And there he is in the king's house in the prime of his age and decided that he's going to put aside the pleasures of life and whatever benefits that he would be able to receive here that he was receiving, he, he decided to put that aside. I say to you that the world and the pleasures of life seems very attractive. There was an opportunity for him to be somebody in Egypt, and this was very tempting. There and then, Moses refused, he chose, and left. Can you think of anyone in these days with such opportunities and made similar decisions? He had everything to his fingertip. He had nothing to worry about. Who knows? He might have been the next in command. But Moses made a decision. He looked at all the benefits that he could have, but he chose rather to put that aside. The Bible says, By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured seeing him who is invisible. What a great man of God. These are the days when many people are choosing rather the pleasures of this world that last only for a moment and putting the Lord aside. But this man made that decision when he was in the prime of his life He made that decision that, you know what? I could stay here and reap all of these benefits, but I am not going to stay around and do that. I will refuse to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, and I am going to go out there, put those pleasures aside, and make that decision to look for the master, the true master, which is the Lord. For he endured seeing him, who is invisible. If you had such an opportunity, what would you have done? Would you have stayed and enjoyed the pleasures of this life, have a life the way you want it, or would you have risked all of that, walked away, and placed your faith and trust in God? Today, you and I have similar decisions to make whether we would stick with God or just give up walking with God for the pleasures of life. Be careful of the decision that you made because the decisions we make follow us in life. Be like Moses. Make that decision of faith that will honor God and help you through life. Our Father, Moses, this great man of yours, you found it. Lord, fitting to make sure that this is recorded for us. And Lord, help us in our decision-making. Too many today are just looking for an easier way of life. And Lord, it costs so much. It costs so much. So many young men have destroyed their life for pleasure. So many decent young ladies have caused their lives to be on a whole, more or less destroyed for pleasure, wanting to have it a little bit easy. 
But here is this man that had it easier. And he decided that I would rather not be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter and to be looking for the one that is invisible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This day, you have allowed us to see it, which means that you are not through with us yet. Use us to bring honor and glory to your name. And Father, I pray for those this day who are calling out to you in regards to their health, that you would have mercy on each and every one of them. Get honor, get glory from our lives today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. As you rise this morning, just go. And whatever decisions that you make, make them of faith. Trust in God that he would be, oh, happy that he would be glorified in your decision and that you would be blessed by God. May God bless you all to have a wonderful day.